Now turning to campaign 2022. Today we take a look at the election for Attorney General. Democrat William Tong is running for re-election. Republicans now have lost elections for this seat 16 straight times. Last one back in the 1950s. With us today, the Republican hopes to snap that losing streak is Jessica Cordes. She is a trial lawyer in Attorney Cordes. Great to see you here with Good us Good to see today. you too. Thank you so much for having me. So when you hear those numbers, 16 elections in a row the Republicans have lost dating back Last time they won was in 1954. What makes you think you can snap that? So I think it's been a long time and people are ready for change. You know, I think the last two years has really showed us that uh, the, the general public is disenfranchised with politics. And I think we need a real advocate in that role. And I'm hoping that, you know, with all the, all the difficulties and hardships that parents and, and the regular families have been through the last couple of years, that now's the time. What makes you a better candidate for Attorney General than General William Tom? So I'm an advocate. I've spent my entire career litigating and advocating for people. And I think that Attorney, Attorney General Tong is an activist. And we don't need an activist. We need somebody that's gonna advocate for the people, all the people. And that's, that's where we're at now and that's who I am. I always fight for, people, for the people. Looking back at some of his decisions in the last two years, mm -hmm. which ones strike you as the most egregious in your so judgment? I, I think that, I think in general, there's a perception that um, fighting for fighting for money for the state is supposed to somehow resolve issues. Like we have the opioid crisis, and it's certainly something that needs to be pressed. And I think the settlement is great, but I don't know. It doesn't cure the. It doesn't fix the crisis. There are still people in Connecticut that are dying all the time. There's still significant hardships for those families, um, and I, I don't know that the fam that this settlement does anything to necessarily address what what the people feel as the harm. Let's talk about your background. What qualifies sure. you to be Attorney General? I've been a litigator for the last 12 years, and I absolutely love it. I Primarily, criminal defense, I think, is something that carries over to the Attorney General's office really well. Um, and when I say that, I mean that my job isn't, isn't just to represent the person, right? It, yes, I represent a person and, and advocate for them, but it's also to fight the system. We have to make sure that the system works. We have to make sure people's constitutional rights are enforced. Otherwise, everyone loses and, they, and, and rights get eroded. If elected, what will your top priorities be? I think one of the biggest priorities right now is making sure that Connecticut's money is working for the people of Connecticut. Um, I, I understand that Attorney General Tong put uh, put out an op-ed this past week about uh, prosecuting fraud. And I think that while that's important, we need to prosecute fraud not just on, on a corporate basis and not just related to healthcare, which is something that we do now, but we need to look at the spending of the state. That money should be spent for the benefit of the people. Some of your predecessors who ran for this yes. seat said almost the same thing you have said today yes. over the years. It's time for change, this mm -hmm. person does this. Why do Democrats keep getting elected to the Attorney General position? You know, I, I'm not sure exactly why, but I can tell you that the people that have been elected in that role have typically been from the legislative body. They're people that have been involved in making the laws, and I think that that um, appeared in the past helpful. But I think it's I think that right now, being part of the system, being part of of our governmental system, and, and developing laws, isn't is a is not a benefit anymore for the Attorney General. I think somebody coming in new with a different perspective, somebody that's gonna advocate instead of, you know, continue the status quo is what we need. Jessica Cordes, she is a candidate for Attorney General representing the Republicans. We thank you for being thank in the program today. Thank you so much for today. having me. Best of luck. Thank you. There's a brand new school in Bloomfield that celebrates a little girl who lost her life in Sandy Hook back in 2012. The new Anna Grace Academy of the Arts is named after six-year-old Anna Grace Marquez Green. She loved to sing, dance, and have lots of fun. Now up to 850 students in pre-K through eighth grade will get a classical arts education in her honor. Something so dark was turned into a beacon of light and hope that symbolizes the future of Bloomfield this area and of our beautiful state. It's a symbol that we will never let violence win, that love always wins, don't you think? Every room, every corridor, every swatch of fabric, every paint color, her presence is here. And I'm just blown away. The school combines two former schools, Anna Grace Elementary in Avon and the Greater Hartford Middle School in the capital city. It's one of more than a dozen magnet schools run by the Capital Region Education Council.
congrats to Nelba and Jimmy. They worked hard to get this done. As we approach the 25th anniversary of the Hartford Whalers' departure from Connecticut, a local native coming out with a new book. I grew up as a Whalers fan, and a few years ago, I was searching around for my next great project, and my wife, bless her, said, why don't you write a book about the history of the Hartford Whalers? So we did. A look at how this new whale tale came to be when This Week in Connecticut returns.